We're past the halfway stage and teams are really competing for one of these top four playoff places. As we know, winners of the group go straight through to the finals. So who will take that spot this year? Mumbai Indians and the Delhi Capital are going blow for blow as they fight it out for that top spot. However, will one of the teams of KKR or RCB have a late push as we get through to the final stages of this tournament? Or will we even see one of the teams that are outside those top four places making a dash for the top? Let me give you my rundown on each team at the moment. I'll start with Mumbai Indians, who naturally we have an interest in due to Sachin's role as a player and mentor at Mumbai Indians over the years. But also because we have our very first academy and sports centre, which is now opened at DY Patel in Navi, Mumbai. Mumbai have the experience, they have the talent in every position, they have the strength in depth, they have the sublime, the brilliant, the talented, the rock stars of cricket in their lineup. With Quinton de Kock and Rohit Sharma at the top of their order, with Pollard and the Pandya brothers coming in later, they, they have an amazing ability to keep attacking at every moment when bat is in hand. They also have the control of Bolt and the sheer brilliance of Jasprit Bumrah. And whenever they need a wicket or two to restrict runs or to be in control in those death overs, they have some fantastic ability. They are well complemented with the likes of Chahar, who has also been in excellent form this year. The Delhi Capitals are currently sitting at the top of the table and they have a brilliant group of players too. I like the way that they have set up with explosive, confident and young batters with the likes of Ayer, Pant, Prithvi, with support and guidance as well from the experience of Shukha Darwan. Then, when the ball is in hand, they have the tried and tested experience and performance from the likes of Ravi Ashwin. Under the leadership of Ricky Ponting and Shreyas Iyer in that partnership, they are calm, composed, but will they stay in that winning way and look as they look to lift the trophy for the first time? Let's also hope we can see Rishbar Pant get back on the field and return from injury to support Delhi Capital's charge for the top. Serious contenders this year are RCB and KKR. Firstly, RCB. They have Mr 360, AB de Villiers, firing on all cylinders. King Kohli is also starting to find some form after a slower start to the tournament. With Chahal performing with the ball, can the batting group keep their winning ways and this team pushing for the top? KKR are also in contention for one of these top four finishes. As we know, winning the IPL is not guaranteed to the teams that start the tournament best. And actually the teams that find form in the later phases often are the ones that can go on to achieve great things. KKR have changed their on-field leadership from Dinesh Karthik to England's World Cup winning and Middlesex's own Owen Morgan. In the backroom staff, they also have our TMGA coach, Pravin Tambe, and after a successful campaign in the Caribbean Premier League, he's also there supporting and guiding that team as they push for winning. 